I thought I'd do today's video. Charlie's literally just come in from school and I've already been crying at his book, so I can't wait to share this with you guys. So it says, it's lovely to hear about Charlie's weekend and great that he's been doing so well. Because I just put, you know, basically what we said over the weekend about how well he's doing and, and all the things he's been up to out of his comfort zone. So school are all chuffed as well, which is always good. So Charlie's been very happy and bouncing today. He enjoyed a story and a drive on the minibus to look for boats this morning. Like every morning, every, sorry, every Monday Charlie goes out on the bus. There's like two days a week when he goes out for a little trip. It's like weather depending, like they go to different places and stuff. So that's really cool that he's been exploring today. And then it says, where am I? <laughs> this afternoon he has explored full and empty numeracy, science and loved a cause and loved a course on effect program on the smart board, really focused that really focused and accessing it independently. This is like amazing. That's what made me cry. So I won't blow beat it today, I've already got it out. <laughs> but Charlie Smart Board's amazing. I mean we've seen it, we were lucky enough to go in his class. Because last time we had a meeting, we always have like a meeting in a different room, so we never get to see Charlie like in his school environment. And they're like, oh we'd like to come and say hello to him because we think he'd be okay with you, you know, coming into his class. And Charlie, when he saw us, it was amazing because he was playing outside. He didn't notice we were there at first, and he come bounding down the like the grass bank and grabbed our hands and was taking us all around his classroom. Wanted to show us everything. Wanted to show us his working station. And he come to show us a smart board. And they had it on because they'd been practicing for their assembly that they were doing. I can't remember which one. I think it was like one of his summer ones uh, at the time. So we've seen it and we can see how it works and like what kind of stuff Charlie uses it for. So the fact that today he's used it like is amazing but the fact that I've seen it and I know like what he's have to do makes it even more amazing. And the fact that he's accessed it independently so he's gone over to it and you know got up this this program and then gone on and used it all by himself and you know understanding it and understanding the game because Charlie like cause and effect is kind of if you like the bit of his develop this the bit of his development that's missing so like example right i've got it behind me so this is perfect right excuse the camera move so we've got this this is charlie's like favorite bus in the universe like he absolutely loves it and as you can see sorry about that guys and as you can see it's got like letters on and it does phonics letters quiz and music so it's got some games on Charlie's had that bus since he was one. Well, that's the second one. He brought the first one. <laughs> but um, he loved it. And But he never thought of it like, oh, you know, we showed him the letters and that they can make the phonics so he knows what sounds the letters make and things like that. But he never bothered with it. Any of the buttons, any of the noise and things on it, apart from the beeping horn, which he just randomly hit. It wasn't like he was... He didn't understand that he was doing it, if you like. Um, he just spin the wheels. It was literally just for spinning wheels. That was it. He didn't, you know, he didn't use it for anything else. But it's like, now, he's getting it. He's like, all oh, right, cause the effect so. If I press this button, this button's going to make this particular sound. Oh, wait, hang on. If I press the next button, that's going to do a different sound too. He's realising, you know, if he does the action, you know, he's going to get back from it. So that's like a massive thing. That's, it's like a massive deal. Because obviously, if Charlie's not understanding cause and effect of anything, if you try to help him learn through play, it's not there. So it's like, it kind of goes in and straight back out. It kind of, it just goes over his head. He's just like, okay, so what he does that? Well, I don't want to do that. I want to spin the wheels. And he's just like, right, that's just a sound. It's just happened. He's not understood that he's made it happen. So the fact that he's used this program and he's just gone over to it like, yeah, look, let's do some cause and effect. Let's press this and press that and it'll ping up with the things that I like. Ah! Like, it's phenomenal, you know, like, excuse me, because I'm all over the place. But, so that's really, really awesome, so I'm, like, so excited. And then it says, notice, try this isn't, like, great, <laughs> but I'll share it anyway. Um, notice him straining for a poo. So he got to the toilet in time, and he, he did his poop on there. So that's really awesome. So, woohoo! Carry on using this right at school, so that's really great. Because that's what we're like at home if we notice. Like, he always pulls his face before he needs to go. So it's like, quick, or when he's in the bath. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no poo in the bath. But I'll try this night next to it, so we literally just go. So that's great. Um, but the past few weeks, like as you guys have probably noticed from the videos, like Chai's development's just like absolutely took a massive leap. 
um, he's doing loads of stuff. I mean, it's amazing when we might have a few weeks where everything's just kind of like the same and then he will like really excel in something. So it might be, like I say, his music therapy. Maybe he's not used the beaters before and then this time he's used the beaters to play the chime bars, which is amazing. And like, I love it and I like cry over that. <laughs> but it's like, it's been, like the past two weeks has been bum, 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 bum. It's whew, like off the scale amazing. Like his spatial awareness. I've clocked all week that he's been, he's got his spatial awareness and Charlie's not had that before either. Like he'd just walk into it or he'd stand on it. It was like the object, it was like nothing was in front of him. He just saw what it was and went whoosh. There could be anything on the floor and he just like goes all sorts straight over it. Um, but he's been going around things like we're at the park yesterday and there was this little boy, I think he's maybe about one, he was such a little cutie pie and Chai was hurling up this like hill and the little boy was coming down and usually if something's coming towards Charlie he won't move out its way, he kind of goes like that, like whoa, whoa, it's coming near me but he won't think to like move <laughs> um, but he saw this little boy coming and he just stopped and moved to the side and then went around him and I thought what? That's amazing. And then yesterday we were playing in here actually. And where I'm sat, I mean you can see that the door's right next to me. Poppy had moved his ball pit right in front of the door. And he would had enough of playing upstairs, he wanted to go back downstairs. And usually he just kind of he'd have got to the ball pool and then just screamed like someone like help me. Or he'd have just carried on going and fell over. But this time he's like, right, okay, how do I get to the gate? So he stepped in, like one foot at a time, so it was like in and then back out. And then to the gate, and he looked and chuffed himself, like, yeah, just did it. And then, the, even if there's been things on the floor, he's even noticing, like, really little things. So, say, I'm on a toy box, can you tell? Like, that's on the floor. Like, if that's on the floor, and there's stuff all over the place, you're not really going to notice something really tiny. But he'd notice it, and he'd step over it. And so, just, like, you know, getting it stuck in his toes. So, that's, like, really amazing that he's doing that. Like, I'm really, really chuffed. And then, it was, like, yesterday... Sorry, Saturday when he was playing with his friend Storm and Poppy and they started their own band. So Poppy was on the maracas and Storm was on the guitar. And he doesn't mind the sound of a guitar playing, like he's really happy with that. It's like really nice and calming for him. But maracas, obviously, it's like a really sharp sound. Um, and I thought, right, this is going to be the point where Charlie wants to go back downstairs because it's too, it's too sharp, the noise. So I was like, prepared for this little mini kind of freak out. But instead he got up, walked over to the other side of the room, picked his drum up, come back over, sat next to them, and started banging away at his drum. Like, he was proper rocking out, it wasn't just a little tap, he was probably like, yeah! Like, proper going for it. And I was just like, like, he was just sat with like Storm and Poppy, all sat together, making an absolute rocket, and loving it. And then they were singing, well, not the kind of singing where you can understand what they're saying, just like, when they get carried away, it's like, blah, blah, blah. Like, Poppy sings a song that she calls the Sue de Serda, and she just goes, the Sue de Serda, Sue de Serda, over and over again. Very high pitched. And so Chai goes, like, yee, yee, like, loving it, like, doing these little pitch noises. So it's like all things like that has just been happening over the past few weeks. And then he's still obsessed with the number eight. It seemed to fizzle out for a while, but at the moment he's obsessed with eight, so he might take eight things to bed, or he'll get blocks, but yes, well, eight blocks. But then say, I move some blocks away, so there's only six blocks in his bedroom, he'd go under his bed and get two shoes. So he's made eight. So like his concept of numbers, like he's understanding numbers and counting, even though he can't say it to us, by what he does with objects and pl like placing them together, you can see that the, the thought pattern's there. And it's great because sometimes Charlie might do something, like he can say mama, and I haven't said him saying mama since probably before Christmas, and then all of a sudden one day, mama, 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 and you think it's gone and it comes back. So obviously if he's done like something like this, you think, okay, it might take a little while and then it'll come back. But it's just been constant. It's like it's gone in and it's stayed in, which is like really, really awesome. So obviously to most people, uh, which I think that's what I love about making this video, like some people go, right, okay, so what? Your son held a paintbrush today. Or they made some squiggles on a piece of paper, you know, and, but it's like, these little things are creating such like, a massive, like, surge in his development, so the fact that cause and effect was in there, I thought, 
yes because that's been one of his targets since um since he started Woodlands was to understand cause and effect and it's like go on son you've done it woohoo so I'll stop being crazy now and waiting on before I drive you all mad but if you could if I could ask you all obviously if some of you might view it through YouTube some of it you know, might just view our videos through the page. If you could click subscribe, it would really, really help us, like massively, because it means that if someone's typing in a general search for, say, autism blogs or something like that, it'll be easier to find so we can access and hopefully help more people. So if you could all click it, that'd be awesome. And I hope you're all having a lovely day. If there's anything you little ones have been up to or you're particularly proud of, then please do pop a comment on because we love to hear all this lovely positiveness. So, take care for now guys, bye!